Hello everyone and welcome back to another video brought to you by SeniorCatWellness.com. If you enjoy today's presentation and find it informative, please feel free to subscribe to this channel, like the video, and share the content. Today's video subject, why do cats fake or phantom spray? Before we begin, let's first take a look at today's topic overview. Cats pretend to spray when they haven't been taught how by their mothers or other cats when kittens. If a mother doesn't teach her kittens how to spray with urine, they'll phantom spray. This behavior is commonly observed in neutered and non-neutered males and females. Fake spraying or phantom spraying involves the posture and association of spraying, yet nothing happens. While actual spraying is obviously a very common feline behavior, fake spraying can be quite a mystery, especially if an owner has never seen it before in either the cat in question or felines that were previously in the home. Most felines that partake in phantom spraying like to do a little dance, sort of like Leatherface at the end of the first Texas Chainsaw Massacre film. Any horror fans in the house? Let me hear you. If so, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Cats will do a little dance, lift their back legs up and down just for a few seconds while shaking their tail at a very rapid clip. In truth, it's quite a humorous visual. And to know that nothing is actually coming out can make things even funnier. It's also a bit interesting and downright confusing at times. While spraying is commonly used to mark and claim territory and serves an obvious purpose, fake spraying yeah, can be rather perplexing. Now that we've talked about the actual posture, what's it all about in that little jig that cats do when a phantom spray occurs? What's, what's exactly the point here? If you're not trying to mark or claim territory, or spray in an effort to find a mate, then why do it at all? As for some potential theories, we do offer the following. First up, cat, well, they see other cats do it, so they have to do it too. This is rather simple to conclude. A cat sees mom spray. A kitten sees the brothers and sisters do the same. Okay, it's my turn. They see the physical posture and mimic it, minus urination. Copying social behavior of all types is very common when kittens are kittens, certainly when they're young for sure. While it's a bit unclear why some cats mimic the posture yet fail to urinate, the actual behavior can be the result of copying something they've seen. Another theory involves the fact that house cats specifically may not need to spray. This implies that the act of fake spraying is not done in a mimicking fashion per se, but more so out of habit. Spraying for an indoor cat just isn't important. They don't need to claim food or mark food, and they don't need to mark territory of any type of territory in this fashion because, after all, an indoor cat, without competition, has no rival. Under this logic, fake spraying, at least the act itself, is a learned behavior that can still be initiated from time to time with no real objective. From the human standpoint, the cat is doing it, well, just to do it. I think we could say the same about many human behaviors, if we're honest. Another reason for spraying, and the final one that we'll cover today, involves stress. Well, we know all about that. This goes for phantom spraying and the real thing. Any unusual behaviors in and around the home, for example, can cause a cat to be a bit on edge. Insecurity within that living space, not fun. Some cats need some sort of a release to deal with things, a physical act to serve as a self-soother. Spraying can be one of those acts, even if no urination is involved. Here again, from the human perspective, this seems an awful lot like a fight or flight situation. I'm either going to face the music or I'm going to pace around, run away, squirm, you name it. The posture of phantom spraying could simply be done as an act to relieve internal tension due to an unsettling environment. Now let's briefly turn our attention to the neutered male. While it's common for unneutered males to spray and actually produce urine in the process as a means to mark territory and find a mate, Phantom spraying can be equally as common in neutered males. If a male feline never learned to produce waste while spraying, they'll often choose somewhat by default to phantom spray after being fixed. 
It's also just as common for neutered cats to fake spray for many of the same reasons we've already mentioned here today. While there's nothing to actually mark, they'll still go through those familiar motions. How about another human example? If you've worn glasses for years, even decades, and then make that switch to contacts, what will you do? Well, you know what you do. It's almost unavoidable and inevitable. You'll push that area right between your eyes to set your glasses in place. You know, the glasses you're not wearing. <laughs> Heck, you might even look for your glasses and try to put them on because, you know, where are my glasses? Well, this phantom spraying behavior is quite similar. What about female cats? Why do they pretend to spray and do that little dance? I guess I should ask my female cat this question. She is six years old, and she's been fake spraying up a storm on a weekly basis for her entire life. It is believed that phantom spraying in females could be due to testosterone, of all things. Yes, female felines have some. The excess of testosterone in females can potentially lead to behaviors that are associated with males. Fake spraying is one. Another reason involves learned behavior. Just like we mentioned earlier, mimicking everything they see as kittens. If they saw it from an early age, the posture can continue forever. And let's not ignore territory. If your female cat likes to phantom spray only in certain areas, which my cat does, this could be a symbolic posture. I'm not really urinating, but this bookshelf is mine, so watch me do my little dance. While it's extremely rare for cats to spray on people, Pretend or otherwise, some cats will engage in this behavior for the following reason. You are a vertical surface. Yes, you are. In this regard, you're not that much different than the aforementioned bookshelf. You're taller, and this is just a good spot. I'm marking you, and I'm claiming you, fake spray and all. Because cats are known to mark trees, lamp posts, and walls, your leg, well, it's just really no different. And finally, the last section that we'll cover today, pressing on with these rarities, some cats will spray when fighting each other. Yes, they will. The purpose here involves a display of ultimate dominance, like, a, I guess we're talking like UFC cat style or something. I guess it would be our version of an old school spit in the face on the schoolyard, perhaps. While this behavior is highly atypical, a cat that is stressed and looking to gain power could resort to spraying as a weapon of control and ownership, the ultimate form and dominance. If you would like more information concerning today's subject matter, please click the initial link in the description box below and join us at SeniorCatWellness.com. And once again, feel free to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel if this type of content is of interest to you. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you later.